Hello learners, my name is Dr. Abha Sharma. I am from School of Education, GD Goenka University. Today I have come here to discuss some important points related to using laboratory for teaching learning. So friends, we will be discussing this uh, on the points, say for example, introduction, why laboratory method, what is laboratory method, principles of laboratory method, goals and objectives of laboratory method, advantages of laboratory method, steps, types and safety measures in laboratory and then we will be concluding our lecture. So why we have to use laboratory method? What is the importance of laboratory method? It makes actually the use of the principles of learning and then it permits the application of this principle. It utilizes the principles of learning by doing and it develops the practical skills when students go to the laboratory and perform the experiments over there they develop the practical skills. So friends, we very well know that there are a lo lot many methods in science with the help of which we can do our teaching learning process. S few of them are demonstration method, laboratory method, discussion method. So today we will be discussing about what is the main importance of laboratory method in science teaching. So why laboratory method? Because it makes use of the principles of learning and permits the application of these principles. It utilizes the principles of learning by doing and it develops the practical skills because students when go to the laboratory they perform the experiments by themselves and it keeps the learned material retained for a longer time and then the retention of learned material will be for lifelong because they perform the experiments by themselves. They contact with the reality and now switching to what is the laboratory method. The laboratory method is a planned learning activity dealing with the original or raw data in the solution of problem. The laboratory method is used to designate a teaching procedure in the physical sciences that uses experimentation with apparatus. This method is one of the important methods of teaching science and it forms an integral part of teaching science. In laboratory method, teachers encourages the students to derive various scientific laws and principles on their own by getting personally involved in the experimental work. A laboratory method can be understood by this diagram wherein we can just first discuss about developing the practical skills. See, students develop the practical skills by learning the different skills of handling the apparatus. They enrich their skills of pictorial representation of an experiment and they provide the opportunity for students to relate and reinforce the theoretical concept taught in the class. It utilizes the principles of learning by doing. Provision should be made for direct experiencing. Opportunities for doing, reacting and undergoing. Teachers encourages the students to derive various scientific laws and principles on their own. It retains the learned material. See, Chinese philosopher and a reformer Confucius was there who stated that when I hear, I forget, when I see, I remember, and when I do, I understand. So laboratory method basically is based on this principle of doing, learning by doing. Students understand the theory behind and hence retains it for a longer time. It practices contact with the reality because it stimulates thinking and reasoning. Teachers act as a guide. It can therefore be said that the laboratory method is a planned learning activity dealing with original or raw data. The laboratory method is used to designate a teaching procedure in sciences that uses experimentation with apparatus. The principle behind laboratory methods are known to unknown, simple to complex and concrete to abstract. That means a students go from what is known and find out what is unknown. 
they move from something which is very simple to something which is very complex and they turn from concrete that that is the things which are touchable or sensible in which the sensory organs are activated to abstract which cannot be touched or which cannot be seen. The goals of laboratory methods are enriching mastery of subject matter by understanding of specific scientific facts and concepts, developing scientific reasoning that is developing the ability to recognize problems and concepts and understanding the complexity and ambiguity of empirical world by learning to face the challenges and developing practical skill that is the skill of using scientific equipment with safety. Understanding of the nature of science that is understanding the physical world and the scientific theories change with time, cultivating interest in science and science learning which makes science come alive, developing teamwork abilities because students work all together so that it makes or encourages the collaborative learning and it promotes the same. These goals of laboratory method can be achieved if they are designed with clear learning outcomes in mind, they are thoughtfully sequenced into the flow of classroom science instructions, they integrate learning of science content and process, they incorporate ongoing student reflection and discussion. The objective behind laboratory methods are to make use of the power of observation and reasoning because students when perform their experimentation they observe the, observe the readings and then they try to find out the reason behind those observations to manipulate the learning equipments to make use of reality to make learning easier and more permanent to make use of scientific attitude. The advantages of laboratory methods are students learn by doing and come in contact with raw data of materials, develop the power of observation and reasoning, develop scientific attitude, enriches scientific temper and along with that students understand the scientific application of the research, gives training in organizing data gathered from real material objects and gives training in how these objects are manipulated to attain the objectives. Along with these advantages, the laboratory method prepares students for solving real life problem because they come in a habit of solving the problems while doing the experimentation. Through laboratory method, students learn by their own experience and observe the things Along with that, they test the things and then they verify the outcomes. There are a few steps of laboratory method. The steps of laboratory method includes preparation, actual work period and culminating activities. The preparation includes the review of past lesson relevant to the present for appreciation and motivation. In the same way, when we prepare a lesson plan and when we use the set induction skill, of relating the present knowledge with the previous knowledge. In the same way, the preparation stage in the laboratory method reviews the past lesson and gives the appreciation and motivation and connects the past with the present. Raising and defining the work to be done, expected learning outcomes and planning. The planning is either individual or group wise. Every student should know what they are supposed to do. Every student gets specific kind of activity which he or she has to do. It should be correct and it should complete in time. This is again a time bound activity. Actual work period. Students work under the supervision of a teacher. That is, it is a supervised study. Students may work either individually working on same or different problem or in groups working on the same problem or maybe in the groups with each group working on one phase or stage of a problem. The actual work period includes all works must be recorded for continuity of the task. The work may last for a single study period or for days. Those 
who work fast may be given additional assignment for additional credits. This means all the students work according to their pace and can move ahead as per their work is finished. Culminating activities, reporting what is worked on by individuals or groups in plenary session of the class. There is an open forum after each report and questions, discussions, generalizations and conclusions are made. Different reports may be consolidated into one as each group forms their own report so that can later on be integrated and consolidated into one. Final report is then distributed to each student of the class for the review and then the students needs to get ready for a test for the purpose of evaluation. There are two types of laboratory methods, one is experimental and the another one is demonstration. The experimental method includes that aims to train students in problem solving with incidental acquisition of information and motor skills. In comparison to that, demonstration method is based on the process of presenting or establishing facts or principles, that is by procedure of doing or performing in the presence of others or as a means of showing them how to do it or illustrating a principle. Safety measures in laboratory. We very well know that there are some do's and don'ts when we enter the laboratory. I will take you down to the memory lane when you were in class 8th or 9th and when you were be going to the laboratory for the very first time. You will be very excited to enter the laboratory and see various types of reagents, various types of apparatus, equipments and in the biology lab you must be very much excited to see the specimens but you know taking care of all these apparatus and reagents and using them judiciously is very important. So, as and when we enter the laboratory, students should not be allowed to touch any of the chemical or lab equipments unless they are instructed to do so. Students should never ever work in science lab in the absence of their teacher. Students must follow all the written and verbal instructions when conducting the science experiment. Students should be alert and be cautious when in the science laboratory. Eating, drinking, playing pranks, using mobile phones or listening to music should be strictly prohibited. Before using any chemicals, students should read the label carefully. While conducting the experiment, keep the test tube containing the chemicals away from your face, mouth and body. Unused chemicals should never be put back in the original bottle. Student must be made to wear safety goggles, lab coats and shoes in the science laboratories. Examine glassware before using. Chipped or cracked test tubes or beakers should not be used. Allow time to cool down the apparatus and use thongs or heat protective gloves to pick them up. If any accident takes place, do not panic. Inform your teacher immediately and the lab assistants for help. So students, we have discussed about the laboratory method, uh, which is a practical procedure with the students have to adopt in order to achieve a planned learning activity, dealing with original or raw data in the solution of problems. John Dewey in his book, In the School and Society, published in 1896, set forth his philosophy that we learn to do by doing, therefore giving impetus to the laboratory method in all subjects. Thank you very much for listening.